Good evening, y'all. This is Brett, and welcome to my backyard. Today, I want to talk a little bit about pruning our tomato plants. If you saw our earlier video about planting these, you'll know that we started off by planting our tomatoes really deep. Um, about two-thirds of the plant we wanted to get below the ground. This is going to help to establish a solid root base for the plant allowing it sturdier so it won't blow over as much in the wind and allow it to uh, build up a good root structure to absorb more nutrients to help produce those tomatoes later on and especially when it gets warmer weather you want a lot of root structure if you can get it tomatoes uh, most of the root structure is going to be located in the top foot or so of soil but it's going to have roots going down about two foot on average trying to soak up a lot of nutrients and water there when it gets warm and really gets into the tomato producing season and um, having that extra root structure is going to help us solve a few of the problems that they can incur later in the season uh, starting off so this one here the reason i've chosen it today is uh, for one it's just an easy candidate to look at this is a super sweet 100 uh, this is a hybrid variety this is a indeterminate tomato which means it will pretty much just keep growing and growing if you allow it to all season long i've had some of these that have gotten 12 feet tall and um, we can get later in the season we can talk about how to keep them a little bit more manageable but these the difference between the indeterminate and determinate from one they just keep growing and Unlike the determinate tomatoes, they are going to keep producing uh, little clusters of fruit throughout the season as long as we keep them healthy. And so um, the temperatures have warmed up here. One thing I'll show you here, as you can see, it's starting to set sunflowers there, which means it's a good time to start pruning. Uh, when it's doing a lot of leaf growth, it's taking a lot of the energy and putting it into that. We want to focus the energy on producing us some fruit. Now we don't want to take back so much of the plant that it's not able to get that sunlight and convert the sugars that it needs to grow. So I would recommend probably not pruning more than a third of your plant at one time. But we want to start putting the, as much energy into fruit production there as possible. And then the second thing is, um, this here you can probably see, I have a, a rather deep container that I'm going to continue to fill up uh, tomatoes. You can continue to bury them stems as the season goes along. And I'm gonna continue to fill up this container as I get some material and the stem down here will keep producing roots, making a sturdier and sturdier base as we go, getting more and more nutrients to help us produce that fruit as we go along. And then, so when we start pruning, I always want to start at the ground level. Now you can see these here, that uh, some of them, that, like that one in there, is actually laying on the ground. It's getting some dirt on it. And this is not good for a couple of reasons. This can help start causing the tomato to experience uh, diseases from the soil, uh, especially when it starts getting a little bit warmer. Uh, just your daily watering, you can be splashing disease stuff from the soil onto the leaves and uh, making your plant less healthy. So we wanna start by removing these lower levels. And with this one, I've just got a pair of scissors here. So we're gonna go in here close. Let's see if I can get in here close so you can see. There we go. Maybe I can see too. We're gonna leave just a little bit. You can see a little node right there in the corner where a sucker was already starting to grow. I'm gonna leave that little bit there and just remove that branch from the tomato. We don't want to cut into the stem of the tomato causing damage. That could set us back quite a bit. And when we cut these off, we also want to make sure that we remove these leaves 
from the soil here. We can put these, they don't have any disease on them or anything. They're quite fine. They can go in our compost bed, help make some more compost for next year. But we just don't want to leave them laying in here and uh, something happen and contaminate the plant. And especially if you notice some disease stuff that you have to cut off, we want to completely remove them. Uh, let's put them in the trash, let's burn it, let's do something to not get that disease back in infecting our plant again. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut off these other two branches here that are touching the soil. Or this one's not quite, but we're gonna go ahead and take it anyway. So there. And now you can see I got good separation from the soil. The leaves are now up off the ground. And then that'll also be good to where we can mound up our dirt there and you'll have lots of little roots you'll notice if you're new to this all these little hairs let's see if it'll zoom in all them little hairs there each one of them is a little root that will grow and some people will see these things way up like up in here and you'll wonder does does that thing really have roots all the way up here and the answer is yes, uh, you could actually eventually bury this part and you'll have roots. It's been so humid around here, so it's making a lot of these roots come out. But especially around them nodules, you'll have some good roots coming out of there as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and trim this a little bit more. Like I said, we don't want to go probably more than a third of our tomato plant uh, trimmed at one time. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these next two limbs. Also, I'm going to eventually bury this part here too. I'm just going to clip there. Here. Now we got a nice clean stem coming up there. We've still got quite a bit of foliage up here to help us produce, gather some sunlight, produce some energy for the plant there it's not crowding this is open it allows good airflow around there to allow the plant to dry uh, doing it like this we'll be able to see if any uh, bugs get on our plants um, around here the tobacco hornworm is one that we have to compete with quite a bit and uh, some others but we'll be able to see them a little bit better too this also allows the sun to penetrate into the plant a little bit. We don't want too much, especially as it gets hot. We want to have some cover. We don't want our fruit getting sunburnt, sunspots on them. That can damage them. But uh, as of right now, it's still cool weather. It's just the beginning of May. It's got plenty of time to keep on producing and going from there. And the other thing you'll notice with this one here, I left this one on just for you be able to see um, I start I try to uh, eventually remove everything below the first set of fruit which is right there and if we get down here level you can kind of see that that fruit is up above the line of the pot there so that's good eventually all this will be root system down here that plant will grow on up from there and I remove lots of stuff below it and uh, another thing we can remove here, you can see the main stalk going up right in the corner here. You've got your main main leaf coming out. And this part right here, some of y'all may know what this is. This is a sucker and it does that. It just sucks the energy from the plant. You may not want to remove these on your determinant varieties. I'm just using my fingernail there but I remove at least the lower ones on our indeterminate. You see how that allowed just a little bit more room for the flowers to come out there. I've got this nice sucker. If you get ones that are this size here, um, usually I try to pinch them off when they're really small. But one good thing about these is like this one here has got enough size and tomatoes are very good at uh, propagating themselves. I'm actually going to take this little sucker here. 
and I'm gonna go stick it in some water for a few days. I don't know if I got them photos I had of uh, some that I've already propagated this way this year. But um, if you're wanting to make more tomatoes and you're on a budget, this is a good way to do it. You can take this little sucker here, grow roots, and you can start another one just like the parent here. Uh, we'll leave y'all with one last thing. A good reason to trim our tomatoes is so we don't end up like this thing. It's out of control. It needs a lot of work. I accidentally knocked the top off of it whenever uh, I was planting it and so it has sent out several stems and uh, it was the first one to come out and it's gotten more attention during the time while we were having all these floods. Uh, so it's kind of out of control. But we'll get to trimming that later. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that and sharing it with a friend. We'll catch y'all next time.